So after the standing series, we're going to do something lying down on the ground. So let's come down onto the mat, lying on the ground. And we hop both legs on the swing, both foot, both feet on the swing. And we're going to do three sets of bridge pose and boat pose. So with an inhalation, we we'll gently lift up our pelvis and let the toes pointing to the front, hand will just rest on the ground and hold here for five breaths. Exhale slowly, coming back down letting up pelvis coming down and then the next inhalation we lift up our hands and our head finger pointing towards the toes engaging the abdominal muscles in a boat pose exhale coming down So this time, second round, inhale, lift up the pelvis and we interlace the fingers below the pelvis, press the hands to lift up the pelvis even higher, toes pointing towards the front, Don't let the hip drop. Exhale, releasing the hands, slowly coming down. Like the lower back and the hip go back to the ground. Then with an the inhalation, come up to both boats. And then final round, bridge pose, inhale, lift up the pelvis, and this time using the hand to support the pelvis, and toes pointing to the front. Exhale, releasing the hands, let the hip drop slowly back to the mat. And inhale, lift up the hands and the head. Bridge pose again. Exhale, come down, rest on the mat. And then releasing your right foot and bring the right leg towards the left side. And using your left hand, press against the left, the right knee. And balancing with opening your right arm and gaze at the right thumb. So this pose is called flying spinal twist. Gently twisting the spine, opening more space in the spine in this uplifted position. So you can feel the lumbar spine actually stretching more because of the lifting. Exhale, coming back to the center, right foot back to the swing, and then releasing the left foot. Put the whole left leg to the right side, using your right hand, press against the left knee, 
opening your right thumb, your right arm, gaze at the right thumb, uh, gaze at the left thumb. You can imagine and feel as well, your spine is twisting. in a good way, allowing more oxygen going into the spinal disc. And slowly, left foot coming back, releasing both legs, and we'll lie on the mat and rest for a couple of moments. In aerial yoga, it's very important that any inversion which our legs are above our heart after we perform it for one or two minutes we have to come down and let the blood flow back to the legs in order to avoid pressure too much pressure in our head So after a couple of moments, we can come up, grab the swing, lifting our body up, and coming up back to standing. So we can open the swing, and we do something sitting on the swing. So we sit at the edge of the swing, swing at both sides. So first one we're going to do uh, two boat pose and then some arm pressing. So with an inhale we lift up our legs, leg bending, put the knee closer to the chest but at the same time we want to keep our spine straight. So don't curve our spine. Keeping our spine straight, opening our chest and chin up to the sky. If we can find the balance, we can release our arms, release our hands and maintain this boat, half boat pose for five reps. Feel your abs being engaged, sending some love to your abs. Exhale, coming back to sitting, putting both hands at the outer side of the swing. And we're going to do five times of hand pressing. So in exhalation, we press our hands towards the center. Inhale, open, release. Exhale, press. Inhale, release. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And one last time, exhale. open and stretch our biceps and then the next pose we're going to do a full boat so leg straight and bringing it up toes pointing towards the ceiling and maintaining our body in a V shape if we can find the balance opening our arms our hands Don't curve our spine, keeping the spine straight. After five breaths, come back down. And we put the whole forearm at the side of the swing. So we do five times of forearm press. 
So exhale, we'll bring the whole forearm together. Inhale, open. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Final one. Exhale. And then we're slowly shifting our whole body, sitting at one side of the swing. So first we put one leg on the swing, and then we put the other legs, and then adjust the position so we can sit comfortably on the swing. Open the swing. And putting, pointing both feet together. And we want to sit straight, not like this, not curving. So we hold the swing and lift ourselves higher. Lift ourselves higher and sitting straight. So now, pretty straight. Putting both legs together. And then rest our hands on the knees. In the butterfly pose, we first do some butterfly press. Hands on the knees. In the exhalation, we press down the knees. Lift up the pelvis in the middle. Inhale, coming back. Exhale, press down. Inhale, back. We'll do a couple of times to get ready for the pelvis to open. And we'll exhale, pressing. Inhale, relax. And then we we'll grab our feet from the outside. In an exhalation, slowly bringing the feet towards our chest. Open the pelvis. Using our left hand, left fingers, hook uh, the left big toes with our left fingers and put the whole left leg out. You can hook it like this, hook the left big toes, or you can grab the whole uh, foot, left foot, and bring the left foot out. Stretching the left knee. And we balance it with opening the right arm. And then we gaze at the right thumb. Try to open your left leg and your left pelvis as far as much as you can. Bring back the whole left foot and then we do the other side. We hook the right big toes with your right hand or you can grab the whole right leg. Stretching. We balance it with opening the left arm.
bring back the right leg. And then at this time, we use the right foot to press against the swing. So our right knee is in front of us, placing the left foot on top of the right knee. Into this intense stretch of the left glutes, you can put your arms on the right shin and assist the stretching and feel slowly sink into the stretching of the left glutes. We can do this pose on the mat as well, lying down, but we have to use our hands, our arms, to bring the legs towards our chest. But with using the swing, the advantage is the traction of the swing in this side, just automatically bring our legs towards the chest. This is actually a preparation pose for anyone who want to put their legs behind the ne their neck. This is very essential to open your femur head so that your the femur head can roll more and bring your whole leg behind your neck. So exhale, we change sides. Left foot, press again the swing and bring the right foot on top of the left knee. We can rest our hands here. So we're still sitting on the swing so we can perform the next pose which is the flying shoulder stand so we put the swing beneath our bum just right at the edge of our bum not too high from uh, towards the, the thigh and then we open the swing so that we can lie on the swing with the shoulder covering the shoulder but not covering the neck so you're covering your shoulder and then your hands opening your arms and the hands with the thumb pointing towards the inner side of the swing. Point and then grab your other fingers on the swing and turn it inward. So you're holding the, spot, uh, the swing like a bat. So with this, we can slowly lifting our knees, bending our knees, bring it towards the chest and then lift up. Beginners, you can use two ropes for support, two sides of the rope for support, and then slowly bring one leg in the middle and then bring the other legs in the middle, legs pointing towards the sky. 
and tuck it, still tucking your tailbone in so you're not falling back and then you can lower down one leg lower down the other leg or do some opening with some movements and then slowly bring both legs towards your head to this plow pose flying plow alasana all your weight should be on your shoulder now and there's two ways to come out you can go back to shoulders there and then slowly coming back to the legs or you hold in this plow pose and then slowly drop down your feet on the ground and you can come standing so after inversion we better ask our students to come back Coming onto the mat, lie down for a few seconds, letting the blood go back to the feet. And then we open, grab the swing, coming up. Coming back to standing. We'll do a ordinary inversion. So we sit on the swing again. So remember, in the front, we're just sitting at the edge of the bum. But at the back, we hold some swing in order to hold our lower back. So hand to press, uh, grab from the side. So as we lean backward, we open our legs and bring the knee to the front. Not in the middle, but at the outside of the swing. Bring the knee, open the legs, bring the knee to the front, and then the legs to the front, and then the feet can come together to touch each other so that we can hold in this upside down position like a batman first we interlace our fingers stretch open the, sh the, the shoulder Bring our chin towards the chest in order to stretch the cervical spine. And in this inverted position, our whole spine is stretched due to the gravity. Releasing the hands. We can also grab uh, interlace fingers behind the, the neck placing the hands in the pinky finger side on the skull and then we press down stretch the neck releasing the hands we can do some uh,
with uh, some spinal twists. So we're using our left hand place on the right knee. The other side, left hand, uh, right hand, left knee. One more time, left hand, right knee. And right hand, left knee. Release. Releasing, unhook your left foot. So don't, don't be scared because your right foot is still hooked. Right leg is still hooked. Releasing your left leg, bend your left knee. You grab your left foot with both hands into this inverted dance pose. Bring back your left foot and then releasing the other foot. You grab your right foot with both hands. Inverted dancer. And coming back. And we can open both legs in this star pose. Don't worry because your lower back is still supported by the swing. And then we can do some sit up. Bring our chin towards the chest. As we want to come up, there's also two ways. Grab the swing, releasing the hand, uh, the the arm, the legs. Bring the heel, bring the knees together, and the heel together. And we can come up like this. But another way, we can come up with a back flipping. So we flip, bring the knee towards the chest, and flip to the back. And then we come up. And after this inversion, again, we have to come back lying on the mats. Slowly come up. <laughs> So I hope you enjoy this inverted position of this aerial yoga. Practice slowly and I will put more tutorial um, videos on YouTube so that you can do each pose step by step. Hope to see you again in this aerial yoga tutorial. Bye.